Hello everybody. So today is just one day short of um, three weeks since my operation to have my kidney removed. I'm feeling quite well. I've been able to go for walks now. I'm eating well. Uh, I'm sleeping well. Uh, all my functions in my body are normal as far as I'm aware. It's hot. Um, there's a heat wave in the UK at the moment. We're in about 30 degrees or so. Hence the sort of a, a summer, a summer surf wear. Um, I'm looking forward to surfing and windsurfing and mountain biking again. I've got strong ambitions there. I'm waiting for my repair to be complete. Externally, my scar tissue is uh, is healing and healed. The the disposable stitches are doing what they're supposed to do is just disintegrate and disappear somehow. And um, you know, I think I'm watertight. The internal scarring and uh, trauma is the one that I'm difficult, have difficulty in understanding what, to what extent that exists. I am able to walk for about an hour at the moment at a, at a normal walking pace and um, have found the need to have a, uh, a sleep afterwards for you know 15 minutes in a chair or so. So, um, you know, it probably indicates that there is re repair work going on inside my body which isn't causing me pain, uh, but is necessary for my body to put its energy into that uh, repair activity. My consultant's telephone conversation isn't for another couple of weeks, so I won't know the uh, the outcome of the assessment on my on the kidney and the the extent, the type of cancer, the extent of the cancer, and the extent of spreading or otherwise. Um, obviously, when I get that information, I'm going to know uh, a little bit more about what comes next but I'm looking forward to uh, being back fit, healthy, working, playing and uh, enjoying life as much as I can in this COVID-19 environment. Um, my last video expressed the difficulty that I've been having over the first uh, 10 days or so of my you know, post-operation treatment and I think this video will probably show quite a significant difference in, in the level of brightness, the colour in my face, the, the well-being that I'm expressing and um, the energy and optimism that I've got for the future. So I hope um, anybody watching this second video will understand that um, the recovery comes fairly quick and once it starts getting there, you'll get just as I am, I think. You'll get itchy feet and start wanting to do more than you're probably supposed to. I'm not aware of what level I can raise my blood pressure at the moment, so I'm avoiding exertion. I'm still not lifting, I'm not driving, I'm not doing any other sporting activity and I'm pretty keen not to disturb the peace that, that is being made inside my body so uh, apart from walking which is which was something that they encouraged um, I, I don't intend to be doing anything else unless I'm advised by the medical team that I'm able to. The medical team that's looking after me is actually uh, not really very present the next intervention I have is a, a surgeon's consultation by telephone to give me the feedback on the kidney but I've had no contact from any of the medical services uh, since the operation other than contact that we've made regarding my digestive challenges in, on the initial stages and uh, my local GP surgery have not been in touch to ask me anything. Um, I expect that they will have my records but they are not controlling my case or my development at this stage. I think once the surgeons have discharged me if they do then my GP's practice will be perhaps more involved with the, the monitoring and routine. I don't know what they're going to do. Blood pressures or CT scan arrangements and stuff like that. So we'll see. But as far as um, my well-being is concerned now, I feel well, I feel good, I feel pretty strong and I'm getting stronger on a daily basis. So I hope that's encouraging to anybody else that has to go through this circumstance and uh, you can take heart from it. All the best.